after managing to get through to the next round of the FA Trophy in the last episode, along with a draw against Boreham Wood. Today, it's league action, and for the first time in a long while, we're back at the Bob Lucas. Welcome to episode 35 of From the Bottom to the Top as we try and take a National League South side, in this case Weymouth, all the way from the bottom up to the top. And this is our journey. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you, uh, as aforementioned in the uh, preamble, two games. Uh, first up, we have uh, filed uh, back at the Bob Lucas, and uh, it's the first game we've played at the Bob Lucas for some time. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. Um, and then we are away to Aldershot Town. Uh, match days 29 and 30 in the Van Rama, uh National League. Um, if I mentioned the National League South at some point or other, um, ignore it. I think I mentioned it only in the fact that uh, we, we've got a, a side that started in the National League South. Um, right, well, um, there's not much more to tell you right at the moment. We'll have a look and see uh, what's been going on since you were last with us. But just remember, if you do enjoy today's episode, leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button if you haven't done uh, so already. It all helps me here on YouTube. And also leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Just let me know uh, what team you are managing in your save on FM, if indeed you are. And uh, also, if you uh, our other series, um, Irons in the Fire, West Ham, is coming to the end at the end of the current season that we're, uh, we're managing. Um, and... Uh, We'll be starting a new series, so if you've got any ideas that what you'd like to see me do for a new series, then uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and uh, uh, we'll see what we can do. And of course, you can follow everything that's going on on this channel by following me on X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, at Just Offside 2. That's how you can keep in contact with all that is going on. And uh, yeah, as I said, we are going to have a look at what's happened since you were last with us. Um, we've played one game away from home, as you say. As I said, uh, we haven't played at home since uh, ooh, uh, Boxing Day was the last time we played at home. We played away to Hartlepool, away to Oldham Athletic, away to Brighton, away to Braintree, away to Boreham Wood, away to York City. And then uh, today's game, first game up against Fylde. So we've played that one match since you were last with us. Uh, York City, a 3-2 loss to York City. And uh, we were two goals down. First coming from the penalty spot from uh, Bennett. Bennett from the penalty spot then puts it away. And uh, what we're just going to do is have a look at how that came about. Because, all right, we'll pick it up from here. Uh, Seizba into the area and... It was very innocuous. Kendall just went to ground, really. I, I, I don't really think there was a great deal in that. Anyway, we're a goal down after 35, five minutes later. Elliot Bolton scores an own goal. Bennett with the corner. It's swung in. It's headed. Armstrong makes the save, but it goes straight onto Bolton's head, and Bolton puts it in the back of his own net. 2-0 uh, at half time. then. We had a bit of a chain round, a shuffle. Uh, we even put the formation, went to a 4-3-3 with two wide players, one up front, um, moved the midfielder around, had a defensive midfielder and two uh, central mids. Um, and uh, it proved a little bit of uh, positive because Kieran Evans got us one back after 50 minutes from the penalty spot. Puts it away very neatly, but we'll just have a look and see how that came about again. Uh, there we go. Peter's out on the far side there. Morris into the area and uh, Crooks brings down Melvin Lambert. And uh, penalty it was and uh, put away very neatly uh, too. Um, on 64 minutes, uh, well, I don't know really what to say about this. I'll leave this to your uh, things. The ball's crossed over. Franklin goes out wide to collect it. It's cut back in. Armstrong fumbles it straight onto Ali Wahid's uh, head. And uh, he didn't miss. He put it away. But a minute later, 
Elliot Bolton got us back into the game. Peters to Morris. Morris finds Melvin Lambert, tees up Bolton. Bolton just sort of like sorts himself out. And uh, McCracken actually got his hands to that, but couldn't keep it out. So he obviously hit that with quite some ferocity. Uh, but it was too little too late. We couldn't get our foothold back in it, despite having 2.39 on the XG, 55% of the possession, 17 shots, 8 on target, nearly 50%. They had 14 shots, 9 on target, 2.07 and 45% of the possession. The damage had been done in the first half and we lost the match. But uh, I'm not completely despondent about it, albeit Blythe and Healy having a terrible time in the centre of uh, defence there as well. So, uh, yeah, we need to uh, be looking to uh, be better in this episode if we are to get the results. Um Medical centre-wise, we don't have anybody out at the moment. We're all uh, fit and dandy. Uh, no more transfers happening, I can tell you that. Um, which means that the only thing really to do is get on with the episode and get on with the first game of the episode. Match day 29 in the Valderrama National League. It's against Fylde. We have played them already this season. Um, we lost to them 1-0 uh, back in September, I think it was. Um, one nil on that occasion. Um, the name I can't even pronounce, can't even see. Shipper Shipper Taham, um, Kelvin Shipper Taham, um, for filed getting us getting the goal after 68 minutes, and uh, that was the only goal of the game. Very tight affair, but we are at the Bob Lucas, and I'd like to think that we could possibly get a result. Let's go and have a look at the team then that faces filed, who are currently 12th. Actually, before we do do that, though, I think one thing I haven't done, of course, is had a look at how, how the table's going based on uh, the results. So uh, Chesterfield are first. They are on 63 points, uh, played 27 games, have a game in hand. So they are technically running away with it. Of course, uh, in real life, they've actually just become champions of the Vanarama National League and got themselves promoted to League Two. So uh, there you go. It's uh, It's true. How it works. So Bradford City in second on 62. We are third on 53. Same points as York City, um, but just just ahead of them in goal difference. We did move up and down during that game as we uh, as the goals went in. Um, York City on a run of five games without a loss. Um, I think it's a bit more than that actually, but uh, yeah, um, they're on good form at the moment. Um, we need to pick our form up a little bit, especially if we're going to close the gap at the moment. We're ten points adrift. And a game in hand over Chesterfield um, for automatic. Uh, but uh, at the very least, we want to uh, cement our place in second and third. So we only have to go through one lot of games as opposed to three lots of, two lots of games uh, instead of three lots of games in the playoffs if we get there. Uh, we are uh, 16 points clear of, of South End, who are in eighth place at the moment. Uh, so that's quite good. So there's quite a, a quite a substantial gap there. So no need to worry about that too much at the moment. But what we do want to do is try and consolidate in the either second or third place. Second place would be nice um, if we don't challenge for that first spot. Having lost nine games, and they've only lost two. Seems highly unlikely. Um, yeah, Solihull Moors are on 51, Barnet on 50, Halifax Town on 48, Scunthorpe, Woking, Kingsland Town and Dorking. Currently the teams are in the relegation zone. Scunthorpe are two points adrift of Boreham Wood. Boreham Wood having a game in hand. Uh, Woking are a further two points adrift of that. So, um, yeah. It's not looking particularly good down the bottom. Right, we will definitely go and have a look at the team that faces... Filed. Well, Chesterfield have played in the early game against South End and have opened up the lead even further. They beat them uh, by six goals to three, six goals to two, something like that. But uh, definitely opened up at the top there. 13 points clear of us now. And uh, yeah, four points clear of uh, Bradford City in second place. This is the team that will face. Uh, file today, Armstrong in goal, Linton, Healy, Spurway and Prescott across our defensive line, Knight, Solanke and Bolton in midfield. Casey sits behind Cooper and Melvin Lambert up front. Slade, Davis, Petit, Evans and Peters are all on the bench. 
We need to get a result today. Another loss won't do us any good. And here we are back at the Bob Lucas. Only won one of our last five. Drawn two, lost two. And uh, we stay with the usual formation for now. Filed of only one uh, of one two, drawn two, and a lost one of their last five. And they're playing a four, two, three, one today. We are third on 53, filed 12th with 39. Two minutes on the clock. We have a corner. Linton with the corner. Swung in. It's headed clear, but Healy will get there and tidy up. He cuts it back across. Melvin Lambert just over the top. Linton to the near post looking for Spurway, but didn't find him on this occasion. Healy doing a nice tidying up job. Well crossed back in, but in fact, I think that come off the woodwork. Then I'm with a throw in deep in their half, but it's only gone as far as Slanky. Slanky to Knight, Knight to Casey, Bolton to Casey, Slanky, Linton, Linton, cross it, Cooper, but straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Two chances missed in the first five, six minutes, and let's hope that doesn't bite us on the bottom. Didn't quite get hold of that, did he, Cooper? Prescott with a thrown on that far side. Two Bolton. Bolton wriggling around there. Prescott. Can Prescott do Prescott things? Oh, it's gone in. And I'm not sure whether Prescott put that in the back of the night. It was an own goal for Frankie Edwards. I thought Prescott put that in, and it looked very innocuous, didn't it, really? But on uh, 10 minutes, we do take the lead. Prescott, we'll see now. Oh. Through their legs. Denham with a throw in. Morrison back to Denham. And uh, Edwards behind him. Brooking. 42 minutes on the clock. Melvin Lambert wins that ball. What's he going to do with it? He's got support from Prescott. Prescott fires one forward, but nobody there. Brooking. He's uh, come away with the ball. Uh, poor pass and Prescott is in Casey, Casey through to Melvin Lambert Melvin Lambert has Cooper in support Cooper off the woodwork and it's cleared, Linton is there but can't get to head to it, Slanky Knights pick up, picked up an injury Casey and half time has arrived, it's 1-0 half time 5 shots, 1 on target 0 0.73, 52% of the possession, they've had 3 shots, 1 on target 0 0.4, 0 0.19 and 48% of the possession. Um, yeah, not our best first half, but uh, it's been uh, been okay. We've managed to foil them so far. And as uh, picked up just before half time, Joe Knight has picked up an injury, a potential foot injury. So we've replaced him with Casey Petit. Ball forward, Healy tidying up. He's got Armstrong there. 49 minutes on the clock. Spurway to Prescott. Prescott uh, on this wing. What's he going to do with this? He's got uh, Melvin Lambert inside him. Prescott. Prescott finds Bolton. Bolton's gone on overlap. Cooper! That's the way to do it. He's offside, though. A little bit too easy. Just gone a fraction too early. And with 17 minutes on the clock, making two changes. Alfie Prescott's tiring. We've taken him off. He's had a reasonable game. As Sonny Davis replaces him. And for our other change, uh, we have taken off uh, Cam Cooper up front and brought on Kieran Evans. Jones with a throw in for Fylde. And oh, what's going on here? But we've managed to deal with it. Casey, but it's only as far as Brookin. It's lumped back in. But under the crossbar, Armstrong collects. A little bit of a worry there for a second or three. A stay beat. And uh, it was well defended by Healy, uh, who stopped exhibition. And six minutes of added time. We're in the third of those six. Davis with a free kick. Can he put this one away? 
Oh, not quite. It was a good try. The ensuing goal kick. Rowley with the goal kick. Evans cushion heads it down. Melvin Lambert, but Melvin Lambert couldn't control that ball and has lost it. Filed back to Ferguson. Rowley will uh, get this forward again. Denman or Denham. Jones. Surely we're not going to. Well cut out by Petit. Linton. But what's Linton doing? Oh, no. Ooh, net rippled, but it uh, went out. It's all over. We've uh, managed to scrape a 1-0 win, a bit like they did to us um, at their place. Uh, Frankie Edwards' own goal in the end. The difference on 10 minutes, and uh, we'd had 11 shots, just two on target. Very mediocre. 1.04 uh, XG, 62% of the possession. They had six shots, just the one on target. 1.14 on the old XG, 38% of the possession. Uh, I suppose grind out results like that, that's what you've got to do if we are to get succeed in our task in this league this season. So a full programme of games played. As I said, uh, Chesterfield 6-4 it was, not 6-3 or 6-2 like I said. Um, so uh, Chesterfield beating Southend um, other key components uh, Bradford City losing to Bromley which is uh, a bonus for us um, Aldershot Town who did they play they won 2-0 at Scunthorpe but then Scunthorpe are in the bottom there that 1-0 uh, win against Fylde so this is how it looks in the table Chesterfield still have that game in hand uh, they are uh, four points clear of Bradford City in second place and a game in hand. They are 10 points clear of us and a game in hand. Um, we're on 56. York City must have won as well. Uh, can't see their result. Why can't I see their result? Yes, I can at the bottom there. 2-0 win against Boreham Wood. Um, so uh, as it stands... Um, yeah, we're neck and neck with uh, York City. We do have that game in hand, a uh, game in hand, goal in hand, goal difference uh, by one goal. Otherwise, we're all e equals and squares. Um, so uh, both on fifty six. Solimore, Holmore's on fifty four. Then Barnet on fifty three. Oldershot Town, our second opponents of the episode on forty eight. Halifax Town, just outside on forty eight. Uh, we are now eight points clear of them. Um, so. Yeah, I'd like to be a bit better, a bit more than that, um, but uh, at least it's uh, it's eight points. That's uh, that's the main thing. Um, and uh, Scunthorpe, Woking, Kingsland Town, and Dawkins still in that drop zone. Right, we'll be back ahead of the game against Oldershot Town. I don't know how many days we've got. Um, it's not telling me at the minute. Uh, three days down to the Oldershot game. Uh, we'll come back uh, with the news on that one in just a moment. Beat them last time out at the Bob Lucas by two goals to nil. Uh, Peters and Spurway, the scorers on that occasion. Uh, can we get a result against them uh, today at the recreation ground? We'll find out. So, just ahead of the game against Oldershot Town, uh, Joe Knight, he, uh, he was only out for a couple of days. He's uh, technically fit, but we won't be... Uh, uh, playing him today, I don't think, just to be on the safe side. So it's a trip to the recreation ground in Oldershot for this match. Third plays seventh. And here we are with the team that faces Oldershot in this match day 30 in the Van Rama National League. Armstrong in goal, Vincent Blythe, Ransom, Davis... Our defensive line, Slade, Morris and Petit in midfield. Evans starts behind Peters and Cooper up front. Spurway, Prescott, Stanton, Casey and Melvin Lambert are all on the bench. And here we are, the recreation ground in older shots. Uh, they've won their last three on the trot, lost the previous two to that, playing a 4-2-3-1 today. And we've won one of our last five, lost two, drawn two. We're currently in third on 56. Older shots are seventh on 48. And nine minutes in a free kick and Davis just over the top. 
29 minutes on the clock and they have a thrown on that far side as they try and come forward looking to cause all sorts of problems for us this one got out wide Bowman into the area Harding and it's in the back of the net second goal of the season for Harding and on a half hour mark we go a goal behind and Armstrong oh come off of Armstrong well, a pair, poor first half from our point of view. Two shots, just the one on target. 0.13 on the XG, 59% of the possession. They had eight shots, seven of which were on target. 0.68, 41% of the possession. Harding giving them the least on the half hour. And with 61 minutes on the clock, we made one change. We brought on Alfie Prescott for Sonny Davis as we try and look for this breakthrough. Prescott over the ball, 73 minutes. Petit finds Evans. Morris goes out wide, finds Slade. Slade controls it, puts it into the area. Vincent cross it in. And it's gone wide from Cam Cooper. Thought we'd scored here, but Cam Cooper couldn't get it on target. And with 81 minutes on the clock, making our final two changes, uh, we have taken off um, Cam Cooper and replaced him with um, Melvin Lambert, who we're going to make as a target forward. And uh, the other change that we've made is Dan Casey is on for uh, Kieran Evans. And we are in the final throws of this match. This is a last-ditch attempt to get back on level terms. He's headed out to Prescott. Prescott to Petit. Petit gets the equaliser. And he's first goal of the season. And we have got an unlikely equaliser right on time. And uh, that's how it's going to end. 1-1. One, one. Goodness me. Melvin Lambert getting there. Heading it out of Prescott. Prescott back into the air of Petit. It's the first time. Goalkeeper unsighted. 1-1. One, one. It's all over, and we've managed to get a draw out of this. Goodness me. Um, Casey Petit, four minutes into injury time with only three added minutes. 11 shots, four on target, 0 0.87, 62% of the possession. No more than we deserved, really. Uh, they had nine shots, seven on target, 0 0.72, and 38% of the possession. We were lucky. Well, with a full complement of games being played today, um, Chesterfield beating Chester five goals to three to continue their good run at the top of the table. They're top on 69. Bradford City, um, what have they done today? They've beaten Boreham Wood by three goals to one uh, to stay in second place on 65, albeit the, um, Chesterfield do have a game in hand over them. We are third on 57, still on goal difference over York City, who also drew with Fylde today. Otherwise, we'd have dropped to fourth place. Solly Olmores are fifth on 54. Barnet sixth on 53. Halifax Town are seventh on 51. Oldershot Town dropping out of the playoffs uh, on 49 points. Uh, we are eight points, still eight points clear of Oldershot in that position. Woking, Scunthorpe, Kingsley Town and Dorking are in the drop zone as it currently stands. Working, Woking have moved up. Uh, albeit Bourne would still have that game in hand, but I don't think Bourne would are in a good bit of form, actually, because they've lost again to Bradford City today. Um, so their form isn't uh, particularly clever. Oh, uh, well, we've got one win and one draw out of this uh, episode. Uh, still poor on the road, really. Uh, we need to be picking up some wins. I don't know what's happened since uh, we've we come off of this little run here. Uh, but uh, we're going to play Eastley and Yeovil Town. Um, Offline, uh, Yeovil Town away at Yeovil uh, in the National League. And then we're going to come back for the FA Trophy fifth round uh, against Yeovil. And then a top of the table clash, uh, Chesterfield, uh, who are on a huge run of form. That is going to be one heck of a game uh, to try and hang on to and, uh, and, and win. That's going to be a very, very difficult game. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of Bottom to the Top and our other series, Irons in the Fire. 
as they are released. A new episodes of Bottom to the Top released every Tuesday and Friday here or at 4.15 p.m. And the best way of keeping up to date what's happening on this channel is to follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Just Offside 2. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you for the next episode. It's going to be episode 36. It's out on Tuesday. Until then, have yourselves a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>